Hey, Epson, Mayor Kevin Zahara here with a COVID-19 update for April the 20th. Uh, before I get into the update today, I do want to pass on our sincerest condolences to the people of Nova Scotia and all the families impacted by that unbelievable tragedy that occurred this past weekend. 17 people lost their lives, including Constable Stevenson with the RCMP. Uh, we pass on our sincerest condolences to, to all those families and the people of Nova Scotia. I know many Etsonites have roots back in Nova Scotia, friends and family that live there, and uh, we are thinking of, of you at this uh, incredibly difficult time. Uh, looking at our COVID-19 numbers for today, unfortunately, the province announced there's been four additional deaths in Alberta, bringing the total to 59 and 105 additional cases across the province, bringing that total to 2,908. 1,230 people have recovered and over 100,000 tests conducted across the province. Many of those tests uh, have occurred here in Edson and in surrounding communities. So far, Edson uh, has zero cases confirmed according to Alberta Health Services. However, that does not mean it's not in our community. So we need to continue our efforts of physical distancing, proper hygiene, ensuring we're not having mass gatherings and following the protocols. If you're feeling sick, please stay at home uh, and don't uh, don't go outside and, and uh, intermingle with the public. Uh, if you are feeling well, uh, be sure to, to enjoy the outdoors and some of the sunshine that we're seeing here in Edson. Uh, town staff were monitoring playgrounds and park areas very closely this past week, and I'm very happy to report that uh, no parks were found to be uh, not in compliance with the directives. Uh, all parks were under 10 people at the times uh, uh, we were checking in on them. Uh, they were doing regular patrols uh, throughout the weekend um, and people were adhering to the protocols in place of social distancing and making sure that uh, they were being safe as they're using these facilities, including playgrounds. We do have hand sanitization uh, stations available in some of these areas. And uh, we're going to try to keep those areas as open as much as possible. Different communities have uh, made different decisions. Edson feels this is in the best interest of our community for mental health and physical well-being. Uh, and we are following the recommendations of the Chief Medical Officer of Health. We're not making political decisions on these on these issues. Uh, we are making decisions based on the recommendations of the Chief Medical Officer of Health and health officials. And so far, they have not given direction that uh, playgrounds must close. So uh, we are uh, keeping them open. But if that does change, uh, we certainly can change direction at any time, especially if people are not adhering to the protocols in place. Great to see people walking on trails and once again, keeping that six foot distance. I have heard from um, some folks that uh, work uh, around schools that there are groups of kids congregating. Uh, please do not do that and make sure you're following those protocols, keeping those distances. Don't go out hanging out with a bunch of your friends and, and passing the ball around and that sort of thing uh, because you're really uh, putting the community at risk when you do those sorts of things. And parents, be sure to have those conversations with your kids. Really appreciate everybody's efforts uh, in these regards. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Town Council will be meeting, going to be passing our 2020 emergency budget. Um, as mentioned before, we've removed about $1.8 million worth of spending uh, from the budget. Uh, some of that's going to be passed on to taxpayers this year. Uh, we have we are looking at a 5% reduction uh, this year. Not sure if that's going to apply to residential consumers or just uh, uh, non-residential uh, taxpayers. Uh, that'll be a decision council is going to be deciding when we set the mill rate uh, here in the upcoming weeks. We're really focused on the business sector, obviously, with uh, the businesses shut down. We really want them to be reopened and getting people back into work. Uh, we're also looking at recovery. We're not looking just at what's happening right now. There are many provincial and federal programs in place, but what are we going to do to support our community moving forward in 2021, 2022? Uh, so some of the money that we are saving is gonna be set aside uh, for that. We also know a number of people are not gonna be able to pay their taxes and we have to ensure that we have the cash flow available for that and be able to deal with those, uh, those circumstances uh, in the future. Stay tuned, we'll have more details uh, as they are released in the weeks ahead. Uh, before I leave you today, it is National Volunteer Week. I want to give a huge shout out to all the volunteers in our community. Normally we have celebrations uh, that we have and a community supper. Fortunately, not happening this year, but there are so many volunteers in our community, some of which are more connected with the uh, Town of Edson operations like Victim Services, Citizens on Patrol, uh, the the wonderful folks of the Red Brick that keep that facility open, uh, the Edson District Recycling Society, I'm just naming a few, but there's tons of other volunteers out there from those that volunteer in our school system uh, to those that are with various nonprofits like Reflections and the Food Bank. 
Uh, if you are volunteer in our community, whatever level you're a volunteer at, maybe you only volunteer a couple times a year, or maybe you're a, one of those folks that are volunteering on everything, thank you for all you do. You make Edson a wonderful place to live, work, and play. On that note, I'm going to leave you tonight. Have a good evening. Enjoy the sunshine. Stay safe, be well, and be kind.